Hello everyone, my name is Rahil Mujahid and I am a Certified Solution Architect by Microsoft. So in this video, I'm going to share my experience with AZ500 examination, that is uh, Azure Security Engineer examination. So uh, I will share my experience in this particular video. So before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. So whenever I will upload any video, you will get notified for the same. So let me share my experience with AZ500 examination. So I would recommend if you are planning to go for this examination. So it is good to have AZ900 and AZ104. It is not a prerequisite of this particular examination. But as per my experience, if you are having AZ104 and AZ900 prior for uh, AZ500 examination, so you can you can just pass it very easily, right? Because the concept you know you have just learned in AZ900 and AZ104, it will be covered in AZ500 as well. Although AZ500 is completely security examination, so you must know about as your security center and as your sentinel, as your monitor before going for AZ500 examination. So if I talk about my examination, I was having 39 questions, right? And the level of the questions was somewhere, somewhere between medium to high, right? So the questions numbers was very less it is around 39 only and the timings obviously uh, like 210 minutes that is you know uh, half an hour for the i mean login and logged out for the feedback and all so take it like a th complete three hours only okay so in three hours you have to complete uh, you know 40 to 60 questions and uh, the good thing is that there was no lab at all you will only get the mcqs and there would be a one uh, scenario and the scenario was very hard it was not very easy it was very complex they will give you one uh, real time scenario and you have to just to give the solution so uh, you have to think about it like what kind of security you can provide in this particular situation so these kind of questions you will get in this particular examination so if i talk about the azure services where you have to focus more the first thing which i have already mentioned that is azure security center since it's a security examination so don't forget to uh, learn and practice on as your security center second thing is that as your sentinel third thing is that as your key vault so you should know how to configure key vault and how to configure sas token in the storage account and the fourth thing I would recommend is the security of uh, uh, Azure Active Directory, right? So make sure you know about multi-factor authentication and conditional access, right? And the group policy uh, and Azure policies and how to configure the Azure policy on management group level, subscription level and RG level or on one particular resource level as well. So basically, you know, each and everything about Azure security, you know, they will give you one scenario and you have to solve it. You have to give the, you have to just configure the exact security for that particular infrastructure. Okay. So if you are having any kind of, uh, you know, hands-on experience on any real-time projects that would be a, a great for this particular examination so make sure before going for this particular examination don't go with only theory knowledge because uh, you wouldn't make it make sure you are having any uh, you know practical examination or any you know a kind of a project uh, real-time project experience before going for this particular examination okay so uh, that was my experience with AZ500. So that's it for now. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.